You're watching Fox 6 News, your station for balanced news. If you were feeling a bit gloomy today, you can take some comfort in this. So were a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. Turns out this date on the calendar has a pretty gloomy reputation. Our Sharon Chen joins us live from the studio right here with us uh, with the lowdown on this. Sharon? Well, Jim, if you didn't know, it is the most depressing day of the year. It falls on Monday, the last full week of January. According to an English psychology professor, he says that it's the time of the year when the weather is usually not so hot, finances low, and for San Diegans, they're dealing with a big loss, a day to really get the blues. Blue Monday, a day where the sky's not so blue, and when you might be feeling that way too. Like when it's raining, like I guess I kind of feel a little more depressed than usual. But it's not just the weather getting Ronnie C's down. Well, and I know for me being a college student, you know, like I'm trying to wrap up my degree and get situated and whatnot. So yeah, I definitely believe it's it's rough. A rough day for many people. January 21st deemed as the most depressing day of the year. It's not only the transition into the new year, but also many people are coming off of the Christmas cheer. And bills are piling up from the season of giving, not to mention those failed New Year's resolutions. I'm really depressed right now. And of course, for San Diegans, there's the devastating loss and the end of the Chargers' journey to the Super Bowl. But everybody's kind of sad today because of the Chargers' loss. But psychologist Dr. George Pratt says the low point isn't just today, it's this time of year. With the stress of the holidays and uh, uh, bills, bills coming this time of year, it can be a time for sort of reassessment of what's important and, uh, and renewal. And sometimes that reassessment can bring anxiety, which can lead to some depression. Think of what they've accomplished. So think of that hope and think about the game plan that you want for this year and um, have hope, see it happening, and don't try to be perfect. Small bites towards that goal. But some San Diegans are already finding the brighter side to this day. This is our weather. And we only get it once in a while, so we should appreciate it when we have it. I'm excited. It's New Year. Everything's going great. As for the Chargers, well, next year. Now, some other ways to beat those blues, exercise, eat right, and get plenty of rest. Live in the studio, Sharon Chan, Fox 6 News. All right, Sharon, thanks for that.